Good morning, my brothers and sisters. Once again, here we are to glorify God and to praise His holy name. At the same time, we recognize this very opportunity to ask Him to bless us, to sanctify us, and to sustain us in our daily journey. The gift of faith is such a very beautiful uh, light uh, that leads us to that leads us to the knowledge of salvation and of course the embrace of, of his love assuring us that there is always the gift of salvation but we have to recognize his holy presence in the person and in the name of jesus christ his only begotten son and in him each one of us is begotten our brothers and sisters napakaganda remember moses was sent by god to Egypt to liberate his people from the land of slavery, land of bondage, Egypt. And Moses asked God, Oh God, I will go there. But these people will ask me, What's the name of your God who sent you? And God said to Moses, Just tell them, I am who am. Ibig sabihin, I am the presence. I am the God who is always in their midst. And I am the God of yesterday today and forever i will never abandon them i will never forget them and in fact i hear the cry of these people therefore go there for their liberation yes the i am of god was represented by moses for the liberation of his people from the land of slavery but in the new testament we have jesus and Jesus, the new Moses, he is no longer the representative of the I am, of the I am of God, but he is the great I am. He himself is the I am of God. Yes, the I am, the presence of God, the I am yesterday, I am today, and I am tomorrow forever. I will never forget you. I will never ever abandon you. I will always be with you until the end of time. The promise of Jesus. And napakaganda. Dahil the, the single I am in the Old Testament was multiplied by Jesus into seven times. Seven times. So the famous seven I am's of Jesus. Chapter 6 of John's Gospel, verse 35. I am the living bread that comes down from heaven. Whoever eats my flesh will have eternal life. Chapter 8, verse 12. I am the light of the world. Chapter 10, verse 7, I am the gate or the door. Chapter 10 of John's Gospel, verse 11, I am the good shepherd. And chapter 11, verse 25, I am the resurrection. And ito na ang gospel natin today. Chapter 14, verse 6 of John's Gospel, I am the way, the truth, and the life. And the last, the seventh I am of Jesus, chapter 15 of John's Gospel, verse 1. I am the true vine and you are the branches. My brothers and sisters, this is the assurance that if we have Jesus, we have Jesus in our hearts. We have salvation. He is our salvation. Yes, napakaganda po. So, ang challenge of Jesus is, have faith in God at all times. Have faith in me. And do not let your hearts be troubled in your daily journey. Yes, si Jesus ang nagsabi niyan. Dagdag pa niya. In my father's house, there are many dwelling places. I will go and prepare a place for you. And then I will come back again and take you to myself. So that wherever I am, you also may be. Wow, the, what a beautiful intention of Jesus. Kung nasaan raw siya, naruroon din tayo. Ibig sabihin, gift of salvation. We have to embrace it. And then, there is Thomas in the gospel today representing each one of us. Anong sabi? Oh, Jesus, we do not know where you are going. How can we know the way? Ganon ang ating normal na tanong. Pero si Jesus, ang sagot niya napakasimple. I am the way, I am the truth, and I am the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. My brothers and sisters, this is now the very challenge for us. Having faith in God is to embrace Jesus, the great I am of our salvation. And we'll let 
ourselves be embraced by Him so that we may have truly the fullness of redemption in Him. Amen.